when you say your goals are to get get the information out, right. one thing I noticed is that during the congressional testimony, people tried to bait you into saying that you believed Joe Biden should be impeached. Do you think Chairman Comer has proven that Joe Biden has committed a high crime and misdemeanor? I believe with all the evidence he's gathered, yes, he's proven that Joe Biden has committed high crimes and misdemeanors. Okay, and so I assume you believe Joe Biden should be impeached. Well, that's up to you guys. Uh, you said, look, that's not for me. That's for the Congress to decide. I'm laying the facts out. But when this is all over, Tony, what 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 do you want to have happen? Like, do you think the Bidens belong in jail? Do you believe Joe Biden should be impeached? Do you believe that this should just flavor our understanding of the broader corruption problems we have? Should it lead to legislation? I've had I've had you know Republicans and Democrats even say, you know, watching all this stuff, if it's not a crime, maybe it should be. Right. And and do you want to see like a Bobby Linsky bill come out of this? What you know, when this is all over. What makes it worth it to you that you've put your name on the line, you've put your credibility on the line, and, and really, you know, now you go from being a finance guy and a deal guy to being seen as the guy bringing down the Bidens? Well, there's a lot in that question, so hopefully yeah, I have a little bit of time go ahead. to unpack it. So uh, I look forward to sort of riding off into the sunset and going back to my private life uh, and enjoying my family, willing to fight for this country, you know, however I'm asked to. Um, but I look forward to that and people such as yourself um, who are, you know, driving change and, and making waves in Congress. Uh, there's a couple of different pieces of this. I've always been shocked. I think we discussed this in the hearing in the spring of 2017 when I started to take meetings and and get up to speed on this and had lawyers setting up the business. I was shocked would be an understatement that the Bidens were I even able to be anywhere near these discussions. Remember, I held a Q security clearance, which was granted by the DOE and the NSA, and I had to fill a form out every year under oath that I hadn't received gifts. I, I, I could be wrong on the dollar amount. I think it was somewhere between 50 and and $100. No immediate member of my family had received gifts or was interacting, sort of like FBI agents have to do every year. And so with that purview, seeing what these guys were doing in the spring of 2017, I asked my lawyers, I was like, this doesn't make sense. I like, uh, you know, I have a great reputation. I've spent time all over the world. I work for one of the most private but wealthiest families in the world. I can't be, I have zero interest in stepping out of the box. And so they looked into it from my vantage point and under FCPA and dotted I's and crossed T's. That doesn't mean they looked at it from the Biden's vantage point, what they were able to do as a political family and their relationships and all that stuff. And so... I believe there needs to be um, uh, legislation to uh, require, if it's not already in place, because I'm not an expert on it, for the president's family and the vice president's family, because my lawyers are frustrated when they ask me this question. I literally had a, a criminal law firm and a lawyer do a bunch of work, not for me, I don't need it, but what the vice president and their immediate family members are allowed to do under the current legislation. And it was sort of shocking to me. Um, that's why when AOC asked me the question, I could quickly talk about RICO and conspiracy and stuff like that, because I've spent a large amount of my own personal funds having lawyers dig into that to understand it. Um, because currently, I, uh, my understanding is the vice president and the president live under sort of a slightly different umbrella than if you're an FBI agent or a naval officer. Or a member of Congress. Or a member of Congress. And I don't understand how I, as a lieutenant with a Q security clearance, had to disclose every year if I even had a lunch with a foreign national. Yet the vice president and the president of the United States um, possibly can have their immediate family members, their son, their brothers, uh, flying all over the world, meeting with, you know, um, effectively um, foreign nationals with close, close ties. So that would be a goal of yours. So, yeah. I mean, you, you've so laid legislation, out. Yeah. The Biden family um, is going to also ride off into the sunset. I can't tell you exactly when, but the threat of China mm. to the United States of America is more real and has been real for decades and if your listeners want to read a great book, there's a book out there called Spies and Lies that walks through the MSS, the Ministry of State Security, which is the intel agencies for the Chinese Communist Party. And they give a PhD dissertation on how little, might be as simple as a cab driver in New York gathering information of what they see to you know the highest kind of 
operations of information exchange and stuff like that. So I believe there's well, let me legis- stop you there. Oh, let me stop you there because I I think this is this is getting somewhere really good. If if because of your testimony and what you've illuminated, uh, we end up with stronger anti-corruption laws. Let's just make that a basket. And Katie Porter laid out some great ideas. I thought I she did in, a great job in, of you know, it. in yeah. the hearing. We should have a policy discussion about how to stop government officials from using their positions to get money or favors. Now, that is a real hearing, one that nearly every American, regardless of party, wants us to hold. We could start by talking about how senior executive branch officials can leave public service, wait just one year, and then legally become lobbyists for big corporations scoring their new employers profitable government contracts and favorable regulations. They can even be paid by the big corporations during that short one year while they are waiting to become lobbyists as a down payment for their future ability to peddle influence. That's wrong. For the panel of witnesses, by show of hands, as as, um, Americans, would our witnesses support extending this one-year waiting period to at least two years? No, I would. Okay, so there we go. Republicans, Democrats, even convicted criminals. Everybody supports that we should do more to stop influence peddling. And then it also resulted in the American people becoming more resilient against this threat of Chinese bribery and Chinese aggression and malign influence. But it never resulted in an impeachment of Joe Biden or a prosecution or criminal justice. If it just resulted in legislation and then stronger American resilience against China, will, will, will all of it have been worth it to you? A thousand percent. A thousand percent. I said I'd bleed red, white, and blue. I don't say that lightly. We have to protect our country, our people, our intellectual property, all these people in this country working 50, 60 hour weeks to produce things that are being stolen by the Chinese Communist Party. We need to protect them and wake up to how they are infiltrating our country. And notice, they are using capital to do it. Obviously, one of the largest economies in the world, back and forth with the United States, they deploy, people are like, oh, the Biden's millions of dollars. The, the Chinese Communist Party deploys probably tens of billions, if not hundreds of billions of dollars around the world, infiltrating Africa, South America, Europe, um, Eastern Europe, uh, and, and stuff like that. And we need to wake up. So if that's addressed, legislation, I think the American people are going to hold the Biden family accountable. I don't need to do that. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel with notifications turned on. You won't want to miss any of the breaking news.